When doing a single process, I like to use the Product Club Ergo brush. It has a lot of bristles that are very dense and they're packed nicely in. It holds a lot of color and it helps you really deliver the color to the head without as many dips in the bowl to reload. When I do a single process, I like to hold my brush and my comb. This is the Product Club Pintail Comb. This is my favorite comb because it has an extra long pintail that really helps me manage the hair when I'm applying my single process. I've completed one side and now I'm going to do the other. Sometimes people think that they can handle single process on their own, but this is really rife with booby traps, this kind of color, because of all of the different things happening within her hair. Professional colorists are the ones that you're gonna to want to address this because we need to evaluate what's happening in the different zones of the hair and have the proper fix for all of the different things happening at the same time. What may seem simple is actually very complex in that you really need to strategize and implement and execute technique, design, and color theory all at the same time. Because I'm using an oxidative tint, it's going to lift all of her hair, which is very important as it pertains to creating the foundation of a red head. By lifting the hair a little bit, it's going to move into the de decolorization process, which is going to expose the undertones of her hair. This is what supports the synthetic tint in the color tube. Because we have the gold and orange coming up through the hair, it helps balance that color and gives that longevity and beauty through time. If you are applying a red hair color and there's nothing underneath it, or potentially trying to put an oxidative tint on something like this, the super porous color, there's lots of trouble that you could get into. When hair is very porous, it tends to grab the ash tones of the formula. And even if you think that there's no ash tones in your formula, most professional color is made with blended bases. So though the outcome is supposed to be red, there's almost always a little something in there that could make the hair ashy or weird on the ends because of the porosity. So be very careful with that. You don't want to use an oxidative tint or a permanent hair color on hair this light to get it to be red. It's not going to work well for you. So we're going to switch from this oxidative tint to a demi-permanent to work with that extra porous, extra light hair, balancing it out for beautiful continuity.